Welcome back guys, this is Benito and this is my 18th tutorial on MATLAB App Designer. So in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to delete rows and columns from a table that you have created in App Designer. So this table um, you would have the data that you imported using the read table function from an Excel file. So um, Keston and Samuel asked me a very similar question. So Samuel's one is a little more involved but um, this is like an introductory one to what's going to come, which will show you how to loop through a table and uh, delete rows or columns depending on the values inside it. Okay, so let's open up my lab app designer. So in the app designer, I have a table now and a read data button and a row number and a delete button. So when you type in the row number that you want to delete and click on delete, that row will be deleted. Okay. So the data that I'm reading in is this data here, some name, age, and height. And if we look at the callback for the read data, this is the same as what I have shown you in the previous tutorials. So you use the read table function to read the data in, and then you assign it to a variable called t. Uh, and t is defined in properties so that you can use it in different callbacks. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll create a callback for the delete button. So we'll right click callback and add callback. And we'll say, we'll say the row number indicated by RN is the value inside the row number edit field. So row number dot edit field dot value. So the value inside this is now um, set to RN. Okay, now what we will say is when you click on this delete button, um, what this callback will do is it will say app.uitable.data and these open parentheses, open and close parentheses, will def in, inside this will say we want row number which is entered in this edit field and all the columns to be deleted. And to delete it, you simply have to say um, open and close brackets, and this will tell MATLAB, okay, this row needs to be removed. So we'll semicolon that and we'll try running this. So let's read the data in first, and now let's try. So let's say I want to delete uh, this first row, which is Salah. So number one and click delete and you can see it's gone. Now let's say I want to delete James. So that's one, two, three, four, the fourth row and I'll click delete and there you go, it's gone. So now let's see uh, if I want to delete the column. So you can probably guess it's quite easy. So we'll just change this over to CN and this time um, we'll say we want to delete all the rows so the R comes first and the C comes second, the row comes first and the column comes second. Roman Catholic, that's the way to remember. <laughs> and CN. So now uh, you have all the rows and the CN is the value that you type in here. So that column and all the rows will be deleted. So let's click run and see if this works. Read data. Okay, so I want to delete all the ages. So that's uh, column two, even though this is says this needs to be updated, but you know what I mean. So row two, and that's gone. So if I just do row one now, then that's gone. And if I just do that, then everything's gone. And that's how you delete rows and columns. Now we'll revert back to the rows and uh, we'll bring this back as well. So the key thing to remember is you have to have this in uh, parentheses, not curly brackets or square brackets. So the reason why we use parentheses here is because we're uh, asking MATLAB to read out an entire row or column, uh, not just an individual cell. Okay. So now if you want to put a conditional statement, so for example, so for example, let's say um, I type in a row number and when I click delete, I want MATLAB to check 
if the age is greater than 30 and I want the row to be only deleted if the age is greater than 30. So if I type in one and click delete, uh, Salah shouldn't be deleted because Salah's age is 27, it's not above 30. So to do this, we need to add in a conditional statement and we can add a conditional statement just inside this callback here. So we'll use an if statement and we'll say if app dot UI table dot data. Now this time we want to do curly brackets and the reason why is because we're looking at a particular cell now. So when I mean a cell, I mean uh, when I mean a cell, I mean this is a cell, this is a cell, this is a cell, and this is an entire this is a cell array. So a collection of cell is a cell array, and this is just a cell on its own. So what we want to do is in the code we'll say if so I type in the row number and if the row number and we know our age is in column two and we'll say two because we want to say so if I type in one we'll go to row one column two and we're saying if this value is greater than 30 then do the calculation which is deleting the row so we're saying we, if we type in 2 in this um, edit field and what that's going to do is it will set uh, rn to be 2 and it comes to the if statement and it will say if the value inside row 2 column 2 which is row 2 column 2 is greater than 30 then I want that row to be deleted okay I hope that makes sense so the important thing to understand is it's a curly brackets and a, a normal parentheses for rows so curly brackets for cells and a normal parentheses for a cell array okay so let's try running this and we'll click on read data so let's try to delete Salah now. So when you click on this, you, it shouldn't get deleted because um, Salah, Salah's age is not greater than 30. Now, so if we try to um, get rid of Milner, which is who's 34, so one, two, three, four. So if we say number four and click delete, you can see Milner is gone. So that condition was satisfied and because that condition was satisfied, that row was deleted. Okay, so that's how you add a conditional statement to, um, to do an extra step of calculation. So in the next one, I'll show you how to loop through all the data, um, all the column or rows, and uh, check if a condition is met. And if a condition is met, then delete. If the condition is not met, then keep it in the row. So I think this is what um, Samuel is trying to do. And um, you can see how I do this in my next tutorial. So I hope you've learned something new there, guys. And um, in the next tutorial, as I said, I'll show you how to loop through the data and apply conditional statements. Um, I'll see you in the next one.